Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, in my last hexagon tutorial I showed you a method for modeling a, a tire and uh, I'm going to show you a way to improve that tire model because a uh, hexagon has some real issues um, as far as bending things around uh, some things uh, works really great um, but for the tire tread it just in my opinion it doesn't and uh, I have begun to use blender a lot more so we're going to uh, we've I've built this tread here in hexagon and now we're going to uh, export it over into blender and I'm going to show you how to finish off the tire uh, just using this tread um, so let's do a little cleanup first I've got an extra edge loop here and I just selected that that loop and I'm just gonna backspace and dissolve all vertices get rid of that loop and on both ends of this tread I have an extrusion here and I have one on the back uh, let's just, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this on the one here on the back. I'm just going to delete that. Um, yeah, that that looks fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hop over into Blender. I've already imported it, uh, that tread over here into Blender. And uh, over here in my scene tree, it's listed as Form 2, so I'm just going to select that. Uh, and I'm in Object Mode, so I'm going to uh, click Origin and Origin to Geometry to make sure uh, my pivot point or my origin is set inside my tread. And no, you can't see it right now because when I exported it out, uh, the coordinates uh, did not match up. I should have. Uh, put all my coordinates in hexagon to zero 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 but I didn't um, so now that we've got our I just uh, press my N key to bring up uh, this menu here and uh, right here is the location or the coordinates for that tread object so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna zero all those out so our tread is in our scene. Tap the N key again to close that up. I've got uh, this pulled open pretty wide so I can so you can really see uh, what's going on over there. I'm going to go ahead and scale this down some. Okay. Now I'll we need to duplicate this thing and in Blender we're going to use a modifier uh, we have a little icon here that looks like a wrench and that's the modifier so we're going to add modifier and we're going to add an array modifier as you can see we have a duplicate of our tread there uh, here's uh, how many we have right now uh, they're not lined up so that's the first thing we're gonna do is line these up and let's see here uh, as you're using these uh, these little coordinates things here you can uh, hold your shift key and get a finer adjustment there also let's get a little closer here uh, I'm going to go here to this checkbox and I'm going to uh, click merge those two boxes there merge and then and first last and um, what that's going to do let's let's pull that in a little bit more uh, you can crank uh, the distance up there let's see here what have I done maybe we need to be in edit mode oh there we go starting to merge now let's crank it up a little bit 
bit more. There it goes. Okay, all those points merge together. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now let's just uh, go ahead and increase our count. See how easy duplicating that is? You just um, get the first one done. Let's just leave it at nine. I think nine will work. Uh, that yeah, your uh, your first object uh, will merge with the second one and then you just start uh, increasing your count and they will automatically be merged so that is just that is just awesome so you don't have to go in there and bridge all those okay uh, we're let's go back to the object mode and let's go ahead and apply that modifier Okay, now uh, the origin for our um, ob tire object here. I'll tell you what. Let's go in here and let's hide, let's hide our camera and our lamp. Get it out of the way. I'm using control and the up button on my keypad by the way to hide that panel on that side if I wanted to hide this panel over here I could just tap T uh, but anyway make sure you have your uh, tire selected and let's go to origin and then origin to geometry so that'll put our put the center of our object right there in the center and let's go ahead and open uh, back up this panel and we're going to add use another modifier we're going to go choose a simple deform uh, when I opened it up here it had uh, the twist deform uh, selected I want to choose the bend deformer and then I can just go in here and just start bending this thing so zoom in here. Um, deform factor. So anyway, you can kind of, kind of get it really close there. Let's see if we can't zoom in on that some more. Let's get in close. I want to practically get this here on on top of each other and then we'll apply it and then we'll go in there and just uh, merge those I think the scale of this tire is, is way too small that's why we're having some issues here uh, let's go ahead and put our origin back to the center of geometry. Go ahead and uh, scale it up. Okay, let's. There we are. We're up here. We have this opening. That's another thing I really like about Blender. If you've got something that's open, you can have an outline around it so you can find it really easy. Ah, left too much of a gap in there. Anyway, you want to close that up more, quite a bit more, before you uh, apply your modifier. But in order to fix that, uh, I sure wouldn't want that gap in there. But I'm just going to show you right quick how to fix that. So let's just grab these two verts here. And then, uh, where's the merge at? Right here, merge at center. Let's just go in there and select those points. And merge those at center. Oops. 
actually let me show you another way instead of going in there uh, one at a time <clears throat> you can always go in here and I'm gonna alt click alt shift click on that edge and then I'm going to hit my W key to bring up specials and then we'll oh I don't think that was right was it yeah bridge uh, bridge two edge loops okay and that just puts this uh, bridges those two loops together and then I'm going to go in here I'm gonna alt click that edge there and then I'm gonna tap my X key and I'm gonna hit loop here and that deletes that loop gets rid of it completely and then let's, let's get this loop here and dissolve that one also doesn't leave any vertices behind either <clears throat> okay and there you have uh, half of your tire and then what you want to do is go over here and uh, use your mirror modifier let's see probably want to set our select one of those verts and then shift s and that'll bring our 3d cursor to the selected and then let's add our mirror modifier nope we need it let's see we've got our her 3d cursor there oh and then we'll need to go back to the object mode since our cursor is 3d cursor is moved to this point here and we'll go to origin to 3d cursor okay now we can go back in here and use our mirror modifier and yeah uh, change to uh, change the axis to the z-axis and uh, just apply that and then there you have it there's your uh, uh, pretty much that looks like a mud tire to me one for uh, like we go on a big uh, truck to go through the mud so anyway uh, that's all for this tutorial and I hope it helps uh, I'm not going to be really great at uh, helping you in Blender uh, just yet if you have any questions, but <clears throat> uh, as I continue to learn more and more about Blender, I will be happy to try to answer your questions. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.